So if you're still learning to read the Quran, you're definitely gonna see one of these 12 symbols while reading. And today we're gonna talk about what these symbols mean and how we can deal with them while reading. We're gonna start with the first one. And it's a symbol that looks like meme. And it means you must stop while reading. Otherwise, the meaning of the ayah or the verse will change. So in this example, you should stop at the symbol by reading So we have to stop at the symbol of me. Next is the symbol of la, and it is the exact opposite, which means you can stop. Like in this example. مَا أَنْفَقُوا مَنَّوْ وَلَا أَذَنْ لَهُمْ أَجْرُهُمْ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ So you can't stop here, and especially you can't start reading from after the sign. The three-dotted symbol means you can't stop at either of them, but you have to stop at one and not the other. So in the second ayah of Surah Al-Baqarah, you are allowed to stop at the first one by reading ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابُ لَا رَيْبَ فِيهِ هُدًا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ Or by stopping at the second one by reading ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابُ لَا رَيْبَ فِيهِ هُدًا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ Next is the symbol that looks like the word sil, and it means you better keep going. You could basically compare it to 70% go, 30% don't go, and it means that it is better to keep reading. Like in the example, Next is the symbol of qil, which is the exact opposite of sil. And it means it is better to stop. So 70-30% to stop or to go. Like the example, وَأَيَّدْنَاهُ بِرُوحِ الْقُدُسِ أَفَكُلَّمَا جَاءَكُمْ رَسُولِ So it is better to stop at the sign. Next is the sign of Jim. And Jim gives you 50-50 gives you percentage of going on stopping. They are equally the same. Like in the example, فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَاسْتَغْفِرْهِ إِنَّهُ كَانَ تَوَّابًا Or you could just keep reading and it would be equally good. فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَاسْتَغْفِرْهُ إِنَّهُ كَانَ تَوَّابًا now let's talk about the other six symbols. And the first one is a symbol that means sujood or prostration. And in total, there are 15 of this sign. And each time you see it and after you read the verse, you have to do sujood. So after reading the ayah, you will prostrate for God. Next, the sign that looks like meme looks a little bit different than the other meme. So make sure you can distinguish between them because they mean two different things. And this meme appears in the middle of the word. So the noon and bat, when they follow one another in the same word, you don't pronounce noon, but you pronounce meme. Like in this example, you read Next, this small sign that looks like Alif, it is actually an alif, and it is found so many times, and it's used so many times in the Qur'an, and it means that this letter contains an, an alif of the long vowel. So you would read, So, these symbols all mean that there is an alif right there next the small scene means a small or a very little pause doesn't mean that you're gonna have to stop and take a breath no it means that you're going to stop very momentarily for like half a second and then continue reading 
And this example shows what I'm talking about. And you should read it like that. So it is a very short pause. Next is the sign of med. And it is a very common sign in the Quran. And it means that you need to extend the pronunciation of Alif to a little bit longer than usual. The last sign that we're going to talk about today is the sign of the end of the quarter of the chapter or juz. The juz is divided into eight quarters and uh, at the end of each quarter you are going to see this sign. It doesn't involve any change in pronunciation and it doesn't affect anything of what you say whatsoever. So it is just for the division of the Quran. So these were the 12 signs that you are going to see in the Quran. And here I'm going to give a quick summary of what these signs mean. Try to remember them. And of course, the best way to learn them is by reading a lot of Quran because practice makes perfect.